Hello, and welcome to Sassy Scrapbooking. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, so in this video, I thought I would take you step by step through my process of creating this beautiful yet simple Valentine's Day card. So let's get started. In the Cricut Design Space, I have inserted a Valentine card from the Life's a Party image set. I have also inserted a Valentine greeting from the Victorian Romance image set. I have ungrouped the images so that you can see all the pieces I am going to work with and how they are going to fit. One thing to note since this is a Cricut image set is that Cricut attached the score line to the red heart. This does have to be changed so that the score line is attached to the purple cardstock, not the heart itself. To do this, just select the red heart and click the detached icon in the layers box. Once that is done, select the score line and the purple card and click the attach icon in the layers box. This will now place a score line on the purple cardstock or the main part of the card if you are using different color cardstock for your Valentine. Once that is done, I have changed the color of my greeting to white. I think it will stand out a bit better and click go. In the map preview screen, I like to double check my cutouts and score lines. In this case, I noticed that the red heart is not attached to the greeting text, so I need to go back to the design space and select both the greeting text and the heart before clicking the attach icon in the layers box. Now I can click go and cut my images. Normally, now I would show you how I assembled the card, but in this case, I am making some changes, so I'm going to go back into the Cricut Design Space. What I have done here is to hide the main card cutout and the greeting by clicking the eye icon next to their perspective images in the layers box. Next, I duplicated the heart image, ensuring that it is slightly smaller than the original image, changed the color from red to white, and added some text. Now to show you what the inside of the card is going to look like, let me put it all together. Clicking on the eye image of the main card in the layers box to hide the image, I don't want to cut it again. I can now click on the Go icon to take me to the Map Preview screen. In the Map Preview screen, I can now confirm that the Cricut will print my text on a white heart cutout and that I am also cutting out a second red heart image. Now I can show you how I assembled my Valentine card. I have all my cutouts and supplies ready. I am using some Zots clear adhesive dots, some foam adhesive squares, liquid glue adhesive, and my tape runner to complete the Valentine card. First I want to ensure that my card is folded in half along the score line with my scoring tool. For the inside of the card, I am using the Zots clear adhesive dots on the back of the white cardstock, then attaching it to one of the red glitter heart cutouts. I did ink the edges of the white cardstock just so that it will pop out a bit more when the card is opened. This piece can now be adhered to the inside of the Valentine card. For the outside of the Valentine card, I am using my liquid glue to attach the Valentine greeting to the red glitter heart cutout. Once this is complete, I am using some double-sided foam adhesive squares on the back of the heart to attach it to the top of the Valentine card, and I am done. At this time, I would like to take one more moment of your time and thank you for watching my video at Sassy Scrapbooking. Please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. I will continue to add new videos as my adventures with the Cricut Explorer continue. Bye for now.